everyone welcome back to another vlogmas video today we're going to be doing a little bit of a clean with me and on top of like lifestyle and holiday content my focus for december is really getting everything in order and making sure that everything is cleaned up before i start the new year you guys already saw that i did my closet clean out so that was one step of my transition into the new year so now what i have next i have a lot of random little things in the house that i want to just clear out get rid of get rid of all the clutter anything extra i don't want to hoard anything i don't want to keep anything for later if i haven't touched it in months i just want to get rid of so much today's project is going to be the garage and I'm doing an intro but I think what I'm gonna do is a voiceover kind of style so I'm gonna take you guys along with me of cleaning out the entire garage there are some things that aren't mine they belong to both my younger sisters I am going to put that aside for them and make sure it's organized there is so much in this garage that has just become a dumping ground it's kind of gotten to the point where it's just a little bit overwhelming if there's a cluttered space it kind of gives me a little bit of a cluttered mind and this garage has just been on the back of my mind for so long so I know I've done this so many times with the garage and it's kind of become like a quarterly thing but this is my next thing and to clearing everything out and getting everything set straight before the new year if you're interested in this kind of content just go ahead and continue watching okay you guys so i've attempted to do this like three times already but this voiceover thing is really hard anyway we're gonna start off here and this kind of just became a little bit of a dumping ground because it got to the point where i was just getting too lazy or i was in a hurry and i would just throw out the trash right out the door like boxes and carts and things like that so it just became a huge pile of mess as soon as you opened the door. So I ended up starting to categorize everything by shoes, rags, clothes, anything that would be in the same category to be able to clean it a little bit better. So I just started to do that and then you're going to watch me sweep so much throughout this video just because Nikki, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, this happened like a month ago. We are safe. Everything is okay, but I had a car maintenance appointment. I ended up leaving in such a hurry that I ended up forgetting to close the garage. I was gone for three hours and luckily, thank God we have such good neighbors, nothing happened, but it was a windy day and the entire garage, every surface was covered in dirt. So I swept a ton. This little corner right here, I think was from what Nikki got out of her car. It's just a bag of all her stuff. So I just ended up taking out what I knew was trash or what I knew she was probably missing. Nikki, if you're watching this, I found a license plate. It's not mine. So I'm just going to assume it's yours. And if you're missing it, there it is. There are some straps there for her Bronco, I'm pretty sure for her surfboard or something. And right here was just a huge crate filled with paint things. You can see all my dad's things stuck together, but he told us to just leave it all in a corner where he could see it just in case he had to do some touch-ups or come back to paint some more. So I was just trying to find the best method to organize this right here. I ended up taking them apart and then I had to put them back together because I realized we're missing a lid, so there was no point. And then right here, I told myself that I wasn't going to Christmas shop this year for decorations, but thank God, Nikki ended up buying a bunch of decorations last year, and I didn't realize we actually ended up having more than enough. So I ended up just, just kind of like looking through this little corner right here, and then I ended up putting it inside. This right here was just a huge box of random things. You can see that's a little Valentine's Day bag. I also found an old Christmas present that we did not even open. There was just a bunch of paperwork, junk mail, random things. I started on this box and then I eventually just gave up because a lot of it wasn't mine. So I'm gonna have somebody else go through that and see if anything there belongs to them. And then why the ladder was on the floor, I have no idea, but it is what it is. My mom and Lauren ended up showing up because they had some things in our chest freezer. They had a scheduled power outage in their area and they didn't want their things to go bad. So they just came to pick up a few things. Then I ended up moving Nikki's mountain bike over here. Guys, she's super active. Anything that has to do with outdoors, she's there. So she serves, she mountain bikes, she runs, she does it all. And then she also likes to crochet, paint, do all the stuff with art. So she just, she she's a jack of all trades. <laughs> and so I ended up putting that there where she could access it a little bit easier in case she was gonna go anytime soon. It wouldn't be a struggle. And inside of this old navy bag, you guys, like, I don't even know what the heck. There was just, there was hangers, there was clothes, and I just did a closet clean out, you guys, and look at all that clothes. I'm gonna have to go through more things. <laughs> but I had an old Bible, I had a bunch of trash, there was dishes in there, lotions, body sprays, everything. So I really had to take my time going through this, and then I ended up just putting everything into a bigger bag that belonged to me. So... I was gonna go through that eventually, like later on, but it was just too much to go through at that time. Look at all that dirt on the floor, you guys. It's seriously disgusting, and you're gonna see a little bit more in a little bit. It just gets worse. So there's more clothes that I'm gonna have to try on and decide if I wanna keep it or get rid of it. 
Here's a bunch of bottles and cans because I do collect those for my grandma for a little bit of extra cash every month. I haven't made the time to actually go get those turned in, so I do have to do that soon because one, it's taking up space in my house, and then two, it's keeping my grandma from having extra money. So I'm gonna try to go this week and get that done. Look at this corner, you guys, how disgusting all of that dirt is. I don't know why it took me so long to go through this, but it's just so bad and I was not about to just pick that up because there was just so much at this point We're just gonna throw it in that little corner. It's all dirt anyway And then I have my little fishing pole that my boyfriend got for me for my birthday Here is yet another pile of random things. There's that extra Bible that I found There was some clothes that belonged to Nikki her shoes And then I don't know why I decided that maybe I should look through a purse to see what was in there I just put it to the side. We'll figure that out later that's something that Chastity needed to return, so I just put it to the side so she could see it. Here I am sweeping once again, trying to separate everything between trash and dirt. So I just, I spent most of my time just sweeping. My bag was hurting after this. Here is my little inventory, my little racks that I kind of go through all the time. And I had to kind of separate what was good at this point and what wasn't anymore. There was a few expired things that I had to end up throwing away. But I wanted to put everything where I could see it. I haven't actually done like a whole stockpile kind of shopping trip just because I haven't needed to lately. So I just wanted to make sure that what I did have I could see. That way I don't have to end up going to the store and buying what I already have at home. So there I am just trying to organize everything the best that I could. And then Nikki and Lauren love to bake. So I just wanted to make sure that there are things that they buy for their ingredients that they were also where they could see them. Because they tend to rebuy the same ingredients every time they go to the store even though we have 50 bags of flour and 60 bags of sugar. Here we have a bunch of disposable plates, cups, utensils, all of that stuff, just because we do host a lot of parties and a lot of little events with my family. So I just wanted to make sure that I put it where I could see it just in case we needed extra of anything. And then I'm trying to clear up as much space between these racks as I possibly can just because I just I want this area to be clean already and here I didn't realize how many expired spices I actually had usually you know you think those last forever no they don't they have an expiration date guys check <laughs> check your um check your spices because a lot of the stuff actually ended up going bad one worked one was expired and then after this Here's just more organizing, making sure I put all the food in one section. Here's another trash bag that I got out of my car and just random things that I was too lazy to throw away at the moment. All the cardboard that I was able to throw away. And then with this box, I very quickly gave up because I realized that the majority of that stuff wasn't even mine. It was from yet another party, but this one was actually hosted at my mom's house. So how it ended up at mine, I have absolutely no idea. But you can see I gave up pretty quickly, threw everything back in there, and we're just going to leave that for somebody else to go through. We had so much pompous because I actually ended up using this for my friend's bridal shower that I hosted. And I didn't want to throw them, I didn't want to get rid of them just because I thought it was so pretty. We could definitely reuse that, but it's definitely also too late to return and I just ended up keeping it and I figured one day I could reuse it for something. And this corner right here, just kind of random stuff. In the back back corner, that's all Nikki's memories and stuff, you can see the homecoming sign. But over here we just had random little things that's extra tile and vinyl that they left for our house in case we needed it. This is just another box of trash and then Lauren's cat things I'm gonna have her pick up. These two little white tables actually don't belong to me. My aunt ended up buying them for Chastity's baby shower and I don't know what she wants to do with them. So I'm gonna give them to her. I don't know if she wants to put them in storage or keep them or maybe just try to get some store credit at Home Goods, but we'll see. And here we had a bunch of bowls and random things again for parties. So I just took that out, did the best that I could with that. Here we are sweeping more trash and I don't know, there's just bunch of random things in here i don't know how this garage got to end up being so dirty but we're getting it done that's coda's food thing little storage thing i had a bunch of shoes i ended up actually having to throw away because they were so old and i wasn't even going to use them anymore and they were just so messed up i feel like at this point i was finally starting to see some progress because 
I was starting to throw away the big things and then there wasn't as much dirt on the ground at this point, but you guys are gonna see the at the end. I actually ended up getting tired of just sweeping at this point, so I got my little leaf blower and I just used it for the whole garage. And even after all that I swept, there was so much dirt that was still left over. Here's all the dirty clothes that I ended up putting to the side and we're just gonna throw that into the washer la later. Here's my little leaf blower love this thing i could use it every day even though my neighbors look at me like i'm crazy whenever i use it i don't know why here's a bunch of cardboard i ended up having a bunch of stuff that i ended up opening and just never threw the boxes away but the only one that i kept was this one for the little green machine you guys because i bought it at costco and if you guys buy anything at costco if it costs enough you guys keep the box because they only honor the warranty or return policy if you have the box to go with it so if you bought a vitamix years ago and you have the box to go with it they will honor the warranty but if you throw it away they can't do anything about it so the tv that i bought at costco i still have the box you don't have to have it all like built up or anything as long as it's compressed and put to the side just make sure you keep it it's like it it's too, it costs too much to let that go to waste so keep anything that was expensive enough if you bought it at costco and they will honor it for you guys here you can see more and more trash that i ended up having to use the leaf blower with especially on top of this freezer you guys are going to see at the end this whole little pile of dirt just like a stinking cloud so disgusting but we got it cleared up we got it done there it is Okay, so I'm finally done with everything in the garage. I'm so happy. It took me about two hours and there was a couple of sections that I didn't get to just because it's mostly Nikki's things and I don't know what's donate. I don't know what's storage. I don't know what has to go where. So I just left that for her. She told me that she's gonna do that while she's on Christmas break because she is a teacher. So she's gonna have some time off to do that. Also, I do have to get ready for church. So I kind of had to rush a little bit towards the end, but let me show you what I was able to get done. Okay, so I feel like we always come back to the same little inventory kind of storage rack. So let me just show you guys what I did this time. I haven't really stocked up on anything. We haven't done any major shopping. So what we have so far, I didn't touch any of the top section. I left that as is. And then right here are all of our plates. I have so many extra plates, you guys. I think I'm actually gonna either give these away or sell them because I don't need this many. I don't know why I got so many when we moved. We have all our toilet paper here, some plastic plates, all of our cutlery, like as far as for party stuff, napkins, plates, cups, all of that. And then right here is kind of like a little bit of mixture of everything. I had these in a package so I just took them out and lined them up here nothing special like there's no super organized way that i did this i just kind of had to put it out already so that we could see it and use this stuff so we have some seven ups in the back just extra corn tomato sauce things like that that don't fit in my pantry inside we have a ton of tuna still we do go through a lot of this but it was also for a party and we just ended up keeping it because we eat so much of it and then we have our chicken broth almond milk just random little things here that i used to restock inside but doesn't fit inside these are coda's little baskets and then we have have our rain boots over here that we use when we go out and like clean the patio and stuff I didn't touch any of the bottom I just left that however it was we'll go through that later and then up here I also didn't touch any of this on top I took out all of these bowls that were in a box because we had left it for parties and I hadn't gone through it so I just organized them all here all of the white ones are my mom's and these striped ones are mine I'm gonna try to give those back to her because she hosts a lot more than I do and then I just took out all the paper towels and just put them out here I have not made these beans since I bought them so I'm either gonna give them to my mom or my grandma and then right here just my little leaf blower and trash bags right here I didn't really have to touch anything neither this actually is gonna bother me because I completely forgot about this bottom section let's fix this really quickly okay so right here are our beach blankets tote bags things like that random water bottle take that out going into this section over here this is all of nikki's storage or memories that she has so she's gonna go through that in a couple of weeks here and then this is her little lash bed that she uses we do have a fan for when we ended up having that leak my boyfriend bought us a fan so i just have that there in case we ever do need it again this is lauren's cat's bed i don't know what to do with it she's gonna pick it up soon she's probably just gonna resell it we do have some paint that we used for the previous room so i'm just leaving all the paint stuff there along with this we had a real tree last year but i don't think we'll be getting a tree 
me this year. This, I didn't have time to go through. I'm gonna be honest. So I just kind of just shoved everything in there and that's gonna be for another day because I have to start getting ready. That bottom box, I wanna say it's like lamps and stuff because I used to have like a little photography thing. This is something for Nikki's car. She has Bronco, so some kind of attachment or whatever she has in there. This is Chastity's, just some things that she had from her wedding that I'm gonna give back to her. So we'll give that to her when we have a chance. My barn door that has yet to be installed. We have a ladder. My dad left it here for when he was painting. He said if he needs to come back and paint some more, he's just gonna leave the ladder here for now. These I have to take back to Chastity. She's gonna return this one. And then she bought that a long time ago, but I kept forgetting to give it to her because it was the day that she had Ella. Um, then we have Nikki's mountain bike. I'm just gonna leave that here. Don't really have any other place to put it. And then this was for like her lash things, but she hasn't done that in a while. So I just left it here and just have a couple of things on it, her helmet. I do have to make a trip to take all of these things to the recycling so that I can get cash to get to my grandma. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna make it a point to go this week. And then just one of our trash bins there. This little section right here is another one that I wasn't really sure what to do with. This is all Nikki's corner right here. This is mine. I have to go through that because there's a lot that I have to get rid of in there. Um, This is a red light. I don't even know how to describe it, but this is really good for like injuries and stuff like that. I had to pull it out to where it's actually accessible because we do need this every so often and I haven't had a chance because it was shoved in the back. These are things that I have to go through just for party stuff. I don't even want to touch that bag. I don't know what's in it. I think it's Lauren's or Nikki's and I'm just gonna have them go through that. This is my inflatable mattress for camping. I don't know how to deflate it. I'm gonna ask my boyfriend. I have the bag that it comes in, but it's just too much of a struggle to like take it apart. And then right here is just more party stuff that I don't know what to do with. I have to go through it, see what we can get store credit for and see what belongs to my mom and sisters. These are all just random supplements and a little cart that I have to clean out. That's for another project. Like all the little details right now, I just had to make sure that this was clean. So overall, I would say we're looking pretty good. I wasn't able to actually walk in the garage. It was hard parking. I was always stepping on something. And so I feel like now there's so much open space. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get the water hose tomorrow probably and just like kind of spray everything down and maybe use some like Dawn soap or something. But for now, I would say this is good progress. So that is all for today's Vlogmas video. Thank you guys so much if you followed along and watched to the end. This is your sign for motivation if you guys are looking for ideas of things to kind of get everything together before the new year comes. I'm just trying to get everything in order. I'm trying to get everything cleared up and that way I have clear goals. There's not little miscellaneous tasks that are in my way to do it. And when the new year comes, I'm already working off of that momentum instead of feeling like I have to start from scratch and clean everything up here and there like I just want to be ready to roll so I'm trying to do everything that I can the month of December so that we can start off 2024 strong thank you guys so much I will be having more clean with me videos organization decluttering kind of videos so if you guys are interested in that don't forget to like subscribe comment and I'll see you guys all tomorrow bye <laughs>